News 624. Something that's uh, a big topic of conversation these days. It's the four day work week. Money Wise is joining us uh, this morning to talk a little bit more about that. And the reason why we're talking about this is because Democratic Representative Mark Takano of California this week introduced legislation in Congress to shorten the work week to just four days. So it's an idea getting a lot of steam mm -hmm. across the country. Even the world, we're starting to see some countries even go to a four day work week. Mm -hmm. Dave with Money Wise, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, you bet. It, is this even an option here for the US? I mean, what would this look like? Because it seems like, oh, okay, you just shorten the work week to four days. It seems like an easy move. It's pretty complicated though. Yeah, absolutely. And honestly, I think had you asked this question prior to the pandemic, the answer would have been far different. It would have been, oh yeah, we're a long ways away from that. Lots of things need to change. The pandemic sped up a lot of changes in the labor market. And one of those is because of technology, it's possible that workers don't need to actually be in the office for five days a week and yet could still potentially be more productive. Some countries are already doing this mm -hmm. and they're saying that it's actually more beneficial yeah. for the economy because they're finding that workers are more productive. Does this mean that we go to longer days during the week or is it still an eight hour a day uh, you know, work day or what does this look like and, and what are other countries finding? Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of different ways to do it. It could be one, you working more hours on other days and then in some cases it could just be the, your, the hours worked are shortened. And how other countries have done this and what they have seen is that when employees have a little bit more time, they have a little bit more time for themselves, they do a better job at work. And so where employers thought this is going to cost us a lot of money, we need our employees here all the time, what they're finding is that isn't the case. If you focus a little bit on their quality of life, they tend to return a little bit more to the job. All right, let's talk about the reality of this. I mean, is this something that we're gonna see in the next couple of months, years, or is this something that may be an idea far, far down the road that could become a reality later on? I think we're seeing it already, oh, but okay. it's individual companies. Right. So right. there aren't any you know, laws being passed mandating a four-day work week, but absolutely, if you look around, employers are doing things differently, and it's far more common now for employees to only be working four days a week. So we could, in the years to come, see some major companies move in this direction Yep. where it's not going to even necessarily be uh, you know, singling out just a couple of companies. It could become the norm just all, all by itself. Exactly. Look at the labor shortages now. Companies right. are doing all they can to attract workers. Target announced they're going to pay for college. Well, imagine employers saying, come work for us. You get paid full time, but it's only four days a week. I want to talk about, I know that there are a lot of businesses trying to come up with these incentives to get people to come back to work, mm -hmm. to incentivize them to, uh, to apply because we've heard so many big companies and small companies talk about how it's just hard to find people yeah. to hire right now. Yet, we're still seeing the unemployment numbers incredibly high. Now, there is some good news. We're starting to see those numbers go down mm -hmm. every single week, which of course is, is what we're wanting to see. However, uh, something big is coming up in a couple weeks and that is the expanded unemployment benefits will expire like September 6th, I think September it is. 6th, right. So what does this mean going forward? We're still kind of coming out of the pandemic uh, recession. Mm -hmm. uh, we're starting to see businesses reopen and so forth. Do you think there's going to be a big shift in employers, employers hiring employees with these un expanded benefits, unemployment benefits expiring? Yeah, I, I think it will have an impact on, on the labor market and to some degree these labor shortages. It doesn't surprise me that companies have had a hard time bringing employees back. You have employees that are looking at their lives differently. Uh, they have received some benefits which have allowed them to focus on some other things in life. So once that is taken away, that will impact the labor market. And, and as you said, it's already been getting better, but I think that will hasten that. We also have to remember there are going to be a lot of people that are pushed off benefits that now will be financially devastated by that. We're, we're still talking about millions of people yeah. who's across the country who still rely on these benefits. Yeah. So, and many who are scared of COVID and they, you know, don't know if they can even well, go back. Well, now we've got to another work. surge going on right yeah. now across the country. So I know there's a lot of other factors to, to consider here. Yeah. Dave Anderson with MoneyWise, thanks so much for joining us you this bet. morning. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Alex. All right, we've got more news coming up at the bottom of the hour.